Well, folks, we made it through another screwed up ass year. We came into 2021 like a bad ex. Only thing we wanted to do was take 2020 on a date to Walgreens, feed her plan B, and eliminate any future interaction. I'm not going to lie to you. For the last two years, I have no idea if we're supposed to be collecting bulk ammo or hand sanitizer, but I've been doing a little bit of both. Let's go through some highlights and see what we got for this year. First, we've got the Italian man who wears a fake arm to try to dodge the COVID vaccine. This was definitely the same guy that was buying everybody beer in high school at 15 years old. Y'all remember the dude that used to stuff the handkerchief in the plastic thumb for all the cheerleaders? Thought he was the next Chris Angel? Well, he's grown now. Next, we got a hiker lost in the woods for 24 hours who refused to answer his phone because they were unknown numbers. How many baby mamas you got trying to garnish your check where you'd rather die in the woods than answer the damn phone, playboy? <laughs> then we got a bishop that steps down because he fell in love with a satanic, erotic Arthur. How do you give that two-week notice? Hey, guys, look. I appreciate y'all letting me run the children ministry and taking care of me, but I think I'm just going to go on and go to hell. You know, I, I met a girl at an underground orgy last week, said she used to cut loose for as long with her fingernails, said she was the daughter of Charles Manson. I'm going to go live with her. I've already told my family. Appreciate y'all. Then we got Joe Biden's dog. His name's Major. He bit not only one person, but two people in the White House in March. I'm just glad to know one of them can still chew. Ha! <laughs> Bill Cosby was released from prison this year. So if you're looking for a late night coffee and to wake up in a dumpster pregnant, give him a call. A Michigan judge ordered two parents to pay $30,000 for destroying their son's porn collection. You can say meat ain't the only thing getting beat in that house, baby. <laughs> Gwyneth Powell throws vagina scented candles begin unexpectedly exploding. Now you imagine this, you go home, you say, I'm going to spruce this place up a little bit with a little scent of hoo-hoo. Next thing you know, this thing grenades off the table. Now the entire apartment building smells like a bonita barn. What do you go outside and tell your neighbors? Sorry, my girlfriend's homeless. She came over last night to wash her panties. <laughs> a drunk man went missing in Turkey and joined his own search party. Y'all know how that went? Hey, man, who y'all looking for? Marquez? Oh, bro, I've been knowing that boy for some years. Come on, I know where he go to, bro. We finna, we were gonna run up on him. You know he like to stay drunk. <laughs> yeah, that, that boy, he always stay drinking. Y'all hey, I'm, I'm, follow me, I'm gonna find him. <laughs> Ghislaine Maxwell was found guilty in court this week. I don't know why she was standing up for Jeffrey in the damn first place. I had a buddy used to cut grass for Jeffrey Epstein. He came outside one day. He said, man, I got a problem. My buddy said, what's that, Jeffrey? He said, well, my girlfriend keeps wetting the bed. My buddy told him, he said, hell, I wet the bed till I was 13 years old. Jeffrey said, well, that's the thing. I won't wait for it to get that damn old. <laughs> we pulled out of Afghanistan this year the same way you'd pull out of a married woman when her husband shows up to the house, throw a shoe through the window, Jump the fence naked and hide behind garbage cans the entire night to avoid any confrontation. So that was a win. Basically, what I'm trying to tell y'all is 2021 has been real. It's been nice. It hadn't been real nice. And I hope y'all go out tonight and get messed up as a roll of bob wire in a bush hog. I want to see y'all on Snapchat tore up like a snake in a lawnmower. And as soon as you get done with that, I hope each and every one of you get screwed like a stack of sheetrock at a Mexican meth lab. Happy New Year's. I hope it's the best year 2022. I want to do a, a small thank you here. It's really a huge thank you. Thank you to my girlfriend, Becky, who's gone to all these shows with me. Thank you to Dustin Sims for taking me on a tour around the United States. My good friend, Andrew Nicholas, for helping me write all this stuff and come up with all this crazy stuff on the damn phone. Cam Bertrand for coaching me at all the shows. Everybody in South Florida, uh, Dan Casso, Matt Ross, Danny Fallon, and all the other comedians down here that I've met through the last year. It, it's, it's absolutely been great, and I hope we do the same thing in 2022. Uh, we're all going to keep killing it, keep going. Don't worry about the BS. Let's do this thing, baby. Happy New Year!